Hi everyone, and welcome back to another Mini Man Cave toy review. This week I've got the blue Triceratops Zord from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the Imaginex line. And this is a nice little figure for, for little kids. I really like it, I think it's pretty cool. It uh, definitely is very reminiscent of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It does have wheels on the bottom, does roll. does have some wheels on there, uh, just like any of the other ones, it has a gimmick. Now usually you turn the figures, this one you push down and the head will extend. Even, even the Triceratops head is very nice and reminiscent of the, the leg of the Megazord, the, Tricer the Triceratops Zord. I always like that one. It does have a tail that usually I like to keep it kind of, well, it's my son's toy, so I'm not keeping it anyway. Keeping it any any way on a shelf or anything he plays with anyway. But if I did, I'd probably keep it like that just to be more show accurate. But it does have missile launchers on the top. These missiles do fire quite a bit. Just like the T-Rex Megazord, or T-Rex Zord, they do shoot 3-4 feet. So you, have, you do have a bit of distance. Just take those out. And the tail does move up and down. These will move all the way around. And there is the button on the top here. So very easy just to tap those and the missiles will shoot. See if I can get this guy out for a change. Because since I bought him, I've still never been able to get him out of this. We've had him for... There we go took a little bit of force but managed to get that little clip piece out from the feet and just like the T-Rex sword Let's see if I can get in there a little bit nicer just like the T-Rex sword the blue ranger helmet it's not really showing up too great on my camera but my camera is also just a tiny little screen compared to watching on a computer. Maybe it'll come up better on there. But you do have the Blue, Ra Blue Ranger, you have the Zord icon, and you have the Zord, or the uh, Triceratops look on there. Definitely was a lot nicer on the red one than it is the blue. But it is nice to have that little cockpit feature. And just like the Red Ranger, all the rangers are basically the same except for the head mold does have the arm movement that goes around the wrists very tight wrists this one does not come with a weapon legs are all one piece that just moves together and the blue ranger helmet with the little painted mouth But it's definitely a nice little figure. Does uh, has still have that movie look to it with the armored look for the Ranger. And like I said, each one does come with one of these lock-in pieces. This one was very hard to get out. It may have just been my figure. These, I'm sure, are just individually molded. Or probably molded in one big set. But this one probably just seems to be maybe from a different mold line or different shot. So... Putting this back in may be a bit of an issue. If you want to keep the figure on that, I tend to like that just because of uh, not losing any pieces. But that's just a personal preference for me, so my son doesn't lose all the, f the stuff later. Yeah, I might have to fiddle with that one a little bit. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this one as functionality. You know, paint scheme, it's got the nice nice vintage look, the yellow on here on its crest. 
the horns are more slanted. The original, the original ones were more out on on the meg on the uh, regular toy line, the regular Power Ranger toy line. Looks like there's a little bit of paint that was stuck on there from something else. Nice stickers on here. The wheel treads, or the uh, yeah, the treads for the tank look is pretty nice. Has some vented molding up in here, and you got some. The that's actually painted on. I think yeah, that's a sticker that's painted on. The rest of it's pretty much painted on. So it does have some nice little paint paint scheme and apps on it. So it, it it's not a bad looking little figure. Got this for about $15 at Toys R Us, compared to Goldar and the T-Rex Zord, which was about 30 So, I mean, for the for the price range, and the way toys are priced nowadays, it seems to be a pretty reasonable price for these guys, I think. Uh, especially growing up in when the Megazord to Mighty Morphin Power Rangers was probably maybe sixty dollars back when I was younger when I was a kid and the legacy line I just paid when I paid for the legacy Megazord that was about a hundred and twenty so there's over the years prices have tended to uh, go up I think it has to do a lot with the much more durable plastic and probably the pricing of molding and everything but yeah, for 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 anything safety wise, pretty much just the missile launchers. Just take the missiles away if you have young kids. Got the nice little paint scheme in there. Yeah, he doesn't come with a weapon, so there's nothing really for anything to lose or to hold on to or to choke on for there. The head is one big solid piece. So yeah, this this guy is pretty much just a nice big solid piece. I have no problem giving this to my son. He does like to roll it around more like a car than anything. He tries to pick him up, and he seems to be sitting in there pretty good right now. I will fiddle with that later and try to lock that in better. But yeah, pretty much just the missiles, and the missiles are just like the red one. It has those lightning bolts. I think that's a returning theme or a... Uh, a constant theme with all the missiles. I think they're all going to look like that. So, yeah, that's uh, this toy review. If uh, Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you have any comments or anything, just put them below. And anything that uh, you guys might be interested in seeing or that I could review for you, just put them in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to watch for more videos of this and for my Tuesday toy reviews. And hopefully uh, can come at you with more figures and more things. I, I really like the Imagine X line. I think they've got some cool ideas in here. But uh, I just won't review the Imagine X line. I'll review other stuff. But if there's anything you guys like or are interested in or want to know if uh, for the age group of your kids or anything like that and want to see a review on it, Put them in the comments below, and I'll be more than happy to try to find them and to do a review for you. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.